you're growing your Shopify store and use only email marketing as your retention marketing channel, you're missing out on at least 20, maybe even 30% of your sales and not having SMS marketing in place. In this video, I'm going to show you behind the scenes of Postscript, which is a great platform for SMS marketing for all of these Shopify stores that want to really improve their customer experience and of course, add a lot more sales. You've seen SMS performing anywhere between 20 and even 40% depending on the season of your sales. So if you're generated $100,000 last month on your Shopify store, 20,000 at least should come from text marketing. In some cases can be even much more. The brand that launched SMS marketing on that platform literally 30 days ago, we were able to generate almost $70,000 in 41 hours simply through text campaigns and automations. So it's a powerful channel and I want to show you a few strategies and how you can get started with it. It's Postscript. First thing Postscript can help you do is grow your audience. Every time someone visits your store and they're not on your list, you should be showing them a pop-up, fly out, something that will get their attention, attention, capture the data, such as phone number or email addresses. In some cases, don't even have to type in the number. People can just click the call to action. It will automatically populate a message on their phones. All they have to do is just hit the send button and this will basically give us consent as marketers or as a brand owner to continue to market to these people. Now, a few things that you should be aware of. Of course, you will not get as many SMS subscribers, email subscribers, but in the United States, it's becoming very, very popular. So I highly recommend to grow your SMS subscriber list because you don't even have to have a lot of subscribers there to make significant amount of sales. Thing that we did for that one particular client who joined Postscript recently is we included all of those people who didn't give us consent yet, but are on our email list. We sent out a campaign that was the, had only one intention to get as many people as possible to join our SM, our VIP list, how you call it, which is our SMS marketing list, and that generated us about six to seven thousand new subscribers within literally a day, maybe two days, and on top of that, we did like. 15 to 20 thousand dollars in sales just from making people aware that hey we have our sms marketing going on right now you'll be the first one to know about all of our offers promos and new product launches you will get it straight to your phone or smartwatch people loved it and we were getting crazy click-through rates and of course most of the people open their tags at least they will see it and they will acknowledge that, okay, all your companies communicated with them right now. So what else can you do? You can build relationships over text. You can, of course, create a lot of automations. I will talk about them in just a second. Next, you can build segments. So if you have people that are spending more than others, you make them feel even better as VIPs and help them convert even more. You can drive loyalty through improving your post-purchase experience. So now let me show you how many automations you can build and how it looks like. Welcome X series can send SMS. I believe legally you can set up the three texts, but of course every state might have different laws. So make sure you stick to them. You gotta make sure that you follow the rules, the legal rules in your country or in your state. Because some states might have different laws. For example, if you send a text during the quiet hours, which may, might be before 8 a.m. or after 8 a.m., you might get fined and the fines are pretty hefty. And they're based on recipient's amount. So if you send it to 1,000 people, you might get a pretty big bill. Make sure to follow the rules, but if you do it correctly, you can, of course, benefit from it as well. And people like it. I don't hear many complaints because the worst that can happen is they just unsubscribe. They just te text you, stop. That's it, they're out of it. Shipping notification or order delivered. Transactional SMS are just as powerful as on the email side. Why? People order the product. Maybe they want to add something to the order. Maybe they have questions. Maybe they want to change the order. Wherever it is, people can communicate with you with ease. Of course, emails can perform really well and they are performing really well. Transactional emails, highly recommend you have them in place. Add your branding element to it as well because people might order again within three hours. We've seen this happen many, many times over and over again. But on the tech side, you should have it integrated with something like Gorgeous, like your help desk, so people on your team can respond, your customer support group can respond to these people as soon as possible. Because if you have a customer with a very high lifetime value asking about their his or her order, you should respond as soon as possible and just text them back, make it conversational and of course help them convert and build that loyalty with them. So transactional emails or an SMS such as order out for delivery, order delivered, all of these 
will get a huge response. So make sure you have them in place. Win back, self-explanatory. When someone bought once, twice, but after 60, 90 or 120 days, they haven't bought again, you can follow up with them via text. Abandon cart. It's basically a step where people were on your site, they looked at the product, they added to cart, but they didn't go to the checkout. Follow up with them and try to convert them back. And then check out how they've gone through the steps and they actually added to the cart. They've gone through their checkout, but something stopped them. They got confused. Maybe the checkout wasn't loading correctly. Maybe they wanted to add more products. Something happened and they just forgot about the order. They didn't do it, right? So you can text them and try to get them back, send them straight to the checkout, make the process seamless. Browse abandonment is triggered when someone is entering your store they look at the product and they leave. So if you want to be specific, if you don't have too many products, you can make it product specific. So, hey, you look at product X. These are the benefits of using product X. Add some bullet points down below, maybe some emojis so it's easier for us to consume this information. These are all the automations. You can probably even add more. You can be specific based on product. You can be specific based on category and really try to up overcome all possible objections get people who abandon them, their carts, checkouts, or are browsing through your store, they haven't pulled the trigger yet, get them back to your store via text marketing. As an alternative, if you're based in Europe and text marketing in your country might still have some limitations, you can try WhatsApp marketing. It can work. I know a lot of our family members in Europe communicate mostly through WhatsApp, but if SMS works in your country, try it out, see how it works. Highly recommend checking out Postscript as they have superior customer service. So if you have any questions regarding SMS marketing, drop a comment down below. If you would like to connect you with Postscript team members so you can get even better experience with them, let me know as well. Looking forward to hearing from you. If you found this video valuable, feel free to subscribe, hit that like button so others can see and benefit from it too. And I'll see you in the next video.